So when I first started with Bokashi, I have to admit I was a little suspicious. I mean, this method was saying you can put your chicken, your cheese, your leftover lasagna in your compost, and not only could you compost it, you could compost it fast. My name is Rachel and welcome back to Oxard Gardening. About seven months ago I showed you guys how to make Bokashi compost and I'm here to show you how it's been going in the last seven months. So this bucket is about two weeks since I filled it up and you can see some of the white fuzz growing on it. That's a very good sign for your own Bokashi compost, that everything is going well. You can also tell it's going well if it doesn't smell rotten. Remember, it'll smell a little funky because things are decomposing, but it shouldn't smell like knock you over dead awful. Now this is a bucket that is a little older, I think. Um, and you can see still, it's got a little bit of that white going on. You can see in there, there's a little bit of that fuzz. I think that these egg cartons uh, take a little bit longer to decompose. Um, and this one's older, mostly just because I'm a little bit lazy. Um, but I would say I've been going through a bucket about every month or so in terms of how long it takes me to fill it up. Um, it'll be less now that I have a roommate who doesn't eat nearly as many eggs. I think uh, in these two buckets, egg cartons are like probably at least a third of the whole bucket. Um, and by the way, that's not a big problem. Um, you definitely want lots of browns in your compost. Uh, the general rule of thumb is two to one on browns to greens, but um, it'll probably take me a little longer to fill up compost buckets now that I'm not <laughs> stuffing egg cartons into them. But uh, over the past seven months, I have expanded my composting operation. Um, and I took this idea a little bit from the Weedy Gardener and adapted it to my situation. So let me go show you what we're working with. So because I was creating more compost than I could feasibly use in my garden at one time, I decided to combine the Bokashi method with this kind of compost pile method. Now the method you'll see in the Weedy Gardener is basically this. He puts all of his browns and greens um, and uh, whatever else minerals he's using, puts them all together under a tarp and he's actually made his own bacteria solution. Um, so instead of using a dried out substrate that has been inoculated with bacteria like I do, he uh, just uses a straight up liquid um, and that'll work too. But basically what I've done is I put everything in my buckets and I pre-ferment that for two weeks or so, however long it takes me to find the energy to move it. Um, and then I move it over here into this pile, cover it with the tarp, maybe add a little extra fresh bacteria substrate, um, whether or not that's the homemade newspaper or a Bokashi grain that you can buy online. and. Um, the idea is that it's going to keep breaking down here instead of in my garden bed, which is what I initially suggested to you guys, is to take your bokashi from the bucket and bury it in your garden. And I have found that when I have stuff growing, uh, it's not necessarily the best time to be digging stuff up and shoving my compost underneath it. So this is kind of like my in-between solution for that. So I'm going to take you guys in <clears throat> and I'm going to show you up close what my compost pile looks like after, I think it's been maybe five months since I started this. So on the top, you can see some of the fresher stuff. These are uh, just some vines that I'd pulled out of the front. They were not in a bucket beforehand. And then you can kind of see some of the remnants of the most recent bucket that I poured on here. And if we go in, and look just underneath the surface, you can see that looks just like dirt under there. Maybe that's a little chunky, 
but that looks like really good just dirt under there and I haven't been putting potting soil or anything like that into this pile so that is just my bokashi that has broken down so every time that I'm adding to this pile um, I do mix it in a little bit because remember the idea is that this is mostly an anaerobic process without oxygen. So I want some of the freshest, less broken down stuff to be more in the middle so it's a little more insulated from the air. And that's what the tarp is for too. The tarp is going to keep the air circulation down to a minimum so that everything in that pile can be as anaerobic as possible. So when I first started with Bokashi, I have to admit I was a little suspicious. I mean, this method was saying you can put your chicken, your cheese, your leftover lasagna in your compost. And not only could you compost it, you could compost it fast. And now I have the proof in front of me. Like this is dirt right out of my Bokashi compost. There's bits of chicken in this. There is cheese and it is beautiful, beautiful soil now. The only thing that I'll say though, that I recommend not trying to Bokashi um, is going to be like really woody, dead stems of plants. Uh, I had a vining plant in my front that was just there from the previous tenant that I was pruning back pretty heavily. And I took all those vines to put into my Bokashi. Um, they wouldn't all fit in a bucket, so I brought them straight here. Um, I did my best to mix them in and put some extra bacteria substrate in there and everything. Um, and then three weeks later, there was no change. Um, you know, they, they looked like they hadn't been broken down one bit. And you know, while stuff like that will eventually compost, um, I think I've learned my lesson in that if you want fast compost, that's not the way to go. All right, and that is my Bokashi update. Um, if you haven't caught the first two videos in the Bokashi series, I have one where I teach you how to make Bokashi in the first place in the bucket method. And I also teach you how to make your own substrate at home out of recycled newspaper. So you don't always have to be going and buying those uh, Bokashi grains from the store. If you've already seen those videos and you've been waiting for this update, let me know how your Bokashi is going in the comments below. I want to hear how this method is working out for all of you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. But until then, I wish you all happy gardening.